This is my son, Alan Nathaniel Lewis II. This is my daughter, Emily Rose Bean. This is my son, Jeremiah. He contracted meningococcal meningitis at the age of two. My son, Johnny, contracted meningococcal meningitis at the age of three years old. My daughter, Bella, contracted meningococcal meningitis at three and a half months old. He lost both of his legs, fingertips, the top of his left ear. She lost her arms, her legs, and most of her face. About three hours later, my son was dead. She lasted 40 days in the hospital and passed away. I'm Wendy Meggs, a registered pharmacist. I have helped many families struggling to treat infants and children infected with meningococcal bacteria. My own daughter contracted the disease when she was eight years old. I know from personal experience that the disease is incredibly painful for a child to endure and terrible for the family. Aside from injuries and neonatal complications, meningococcal disease is among the leading causes of preventable infant death in the United States. Even with early treatment, the disease progresses rapidly and can kill in as few as four hours. Approximately one in 16 infants who contract meningococcal disease will die from it. Even at their peak annual mortality rates, each year there are more deaths from meningococcal disease than there are from mumps, rubella, and rotavirus, other infections for which infants currently receive vaccinations. Of those who survive meningococcal disease, as many as one in five will suffer from amputations, seizures, paralysis, hearing loss, blindness, and learning disabilities. Today, vaccines against meningitis are approved for children as young as nine months of age. But we still need your help. Right now, the Center for Disease Control is in the process of deciding whether or not infants should be protected and whether or not we're going to take the necessary steps to eliminate this disease in the U.S. The decision to vaccinate or not to vaccinate will be theirs. The CDC will be accepting public input on this important decision, and your voice can make a big difference. Help the CDC make the right decision by going to www.protectinfantsnow.org. Click Take Action to let the CDC know that you are part of the fight to eliminate meningococcal disease.